The hulls of steel ships are made up of various thicknesses of steel plates that are lapped over each other. Some joints are more prominent than others, so I suggest that you spend a bit of time examining photographs of the specific ship that you're modeling. My preference is to only include those joints that seem most obvious. A scribe line would not be an appropriate representation of a lapped joint. In small scales, such as 1 and 3 50th, this sort of detail is best kept subtle. After all, 1 inch in 1 3 50th scale is only a shade less than 3 thousandths of an inch. There are two methods for creating this type of detail. The usual method that I see most modelers employ relies on building sequential thicknesses of primer. As an example of this method, let's consider creating the lap joint of a horizontal race of plates. The location for the joint is marked with a surface gauge. Masking tape is applied over the surface that will not be raised. For reasons that will become obvious later, you should select a thickness of tape equal to the thickness of the raised panel that you're trying to simulate. Either with a spray can or an airbrush, a thickness of lacquer primer is built up along the edge of the tape. Before removing the masking tape, use sandpaper to sand down the primer to the level of the tape. Sanding the primer prior to removal of the tape accomplishes two things, a uniform thickness and a clean separation when the tape is removed. If the primer coat isn't thick enough, there will be a raised edge when the tape is removed. Attempting to reduce this raised portion will no doubt slightly round over the edge, resulting in a pillow effect for the raised plate. If the thickness of the primer is equal to the thickness of tape, then the raised plate will finish out square to the edge. While this method works, I find it time-consuming, wasteful of material, and because of the nature of masking tape, not nearly as crisp as the next method. Rather than approaching this detail from a linear perspective, which would say, since the lap plate is raised, then the detail needs to be added over the surface. Instead, focus on the appearance of the joint. What we're attempting to create is a difference in height between the two surfaces, so we can just as easily lower the level of the adjacent plate and achieve the same result. In this method, a substantial thickness of lacquer primer is applied to the entire hull. To create the effect that was done in the first example, the line is again marked with a surface gauge. Tape is applied to the surface that will remain elevated. I use a dental instrument, but an old hobby knife blade can be modified to function in the same way. Guided by tape, the instrument is drawn at a slight angle to the surface. Use light pressure and repeat the process until you've achieved the desired thickness. These illustrations are magnified to make a point, but remember the goal is to keep it subtle, so you don't want too much reduction. Before removing the tape, use a little sandpaper and a sanding sponge to smooth out the transition. The result is an ultra-sharp representation of a raised plate. To maintain the advantage of razor-sharp, subtle details such as this, save this step for just before final painting of the hull. This method is also valuable for creating raised panel detail on model aircraft. 